एवरी वन दिस इज अव टॉपिक इन यूनिट फोर दट इज के नियरस्ट नेबर दिस इज आलगरीदम के नियरस्ट नेबर इज वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट मिशन लर्निंग आलगरीदम बेस्ड ऑन द सूपरवाइज लर्निंग टेक्निक ओके के एन एन इज नथिंग बट के नियरस्ट नेबर हियर के एन एन आलगरीदम अज्यूम द सिमिलारीटी बिटवीन द न्यू केस डेटा एंड द अवेलेबल केसेस एंड द पुट द न्यू केस इन टू द कैटगरी दट इज मोर सिमिलर टू द अवेलेबल कैटगरीज दट मीन्स वेन वी हैव हैविंग ए कैटगरी सिमिलर टू दैम it will add the new data according to that categories okay it will define it will separate and uh, knn algorithm stores all the available data and classifies a new data point based on the similarity okay based on the similarity it will separate the data which we are given this means when the data appears then it can be easily classified into a well suit category by using knn algorithm by using this knn algorithm data will be appeared by clearly to which class it belongs to we can easily find the categories according to their similarities knn algorithm can be used for regression as well as for classification but but mostly it is used for classification problems only it doesn't use for it is also used for regression but mostly will used by classification problems okay KNN is a non-parametric algorithm, which means it does not make any assumption on underlying data. Doesn't make any assumptions by the underlying data. It is also called as lazy learner algorithm because it doesn't learn from the training set immediately. Instead, it stores the data and or at the time of classification, it performs an action on the data set. It means it doesn't do a. It doesn't do the. actions before okay it is a lazy learner algorithm next knn algorithm at, at the training phase just stores the data set and when it stores a new data then it classifies the data into category that is much similar to the new data let's see how example here suppose we have a image of a creature that looks similar to cat and dog but we want to know either it is a cat or dog So for this identification, we use the KNN algorithm. As it works on a similarity measure, our KNN model will find the similar features of the data to the cats and dogs images, and based on the most similar features, it will put it either cat or dog category. Firstly, we are giving an input value that is cat. By using KNN classifier, we are going to see the similarities of the input value with the classifier. Then it will predict an output which is similar to the KNN classifiers. This is a KNN algorithm. Why do we need a KNN algorithm? Because suppose there are two categories, that is category A and category B, and we have a new data point x one. So this data point will lie in which of these categories? We have category A and category B. I have x one point. Where I should keep this x one point in category A or category B? We'll decide this KNN algorithm. Okay. So to solve this type of problem, we need a KNN algorithm. With the help of KNN, we can easily identify the categories or class of particular data set. Consider the below diagram. Firstly, we have before KNN and after KNN. Before KNN, uh, we have a new data point is in the middle, which is uh, not having any similarities. So after applying this KNN algorithm, it is seen. It is seen that it belongs to category A. So it will turn the color turned into green right from blue it it turned into green but when after applying the knn algorithm it checks the similarity to which that point belongs whether in category a or category b and it separates the point okay this is called knn algorithm this for this situation we'll use the knn algorithm not only this situation to separate any points based on the categories we'll use this knn algorithm next Thank you